hi this video lecture is going to be very very helpful for you if you are someone who is a web developer who is a freelancer and you don't know how to deliver a project a website to your client safely my name is Saddam Qasim I'm a WordPress developer and in this video lecture I'm gonna show you how you can easily deliver your website your project to your client now there are two different methods method number one that you ask the client domain name web hosting and you start building the website on the clients original domain name you can install WordPress on the domain or whatever the framework you are using just do it on the original domain name so of course when you will be completing the website that website will automatically be live on the main domain so you don't need to deal with any kind of technical things in delivering the project to your client but remember when you are developing the website on the client's original domain in that case you must ask at least some advance payment around 50% from the client so that your work will be safe and if you are dealing with the client on the any freelancing platform like upwork or freelancer.com or peopleperhour.com in that case ask your client to deposit the entire fees in the escrow account all right now method number two is that you can start building the website on a subdomain you create your own subdomain build the website over there and at least ask the 50 percent advance payment from the client as well so let me show you how exactly you can build uh, the website on the subdomain and then after you can install wordpress and start building the entire website at last you can migrate the same website from your subdomain to the client's original domain once he approve your work all right so let's go ahead and we can start creating the website on your subdomain to create a subdomain firstly you need to log in into your web hosting account now no matter what web hosting you are using you can just log in into your hosting cpanel so i'm just going to log in into my host creator account so this is my web hosting cpanel and of course when you will be having your own hosting account you must be having this kind of cpanel maybe the screen would be a little bit different but don't get confused all the options are almost similar so here we need to scroll down to the domain section and here you can find out this subdomain let's click on it now we have so many domains over here in my account because this is one of my business hosting account so i'm just going to create a subdomain of my existing domain what is subdomain basically let's understand it subdomain means a child domain so let's say websoftglobal.com is the main domain name so i can create a child domain of this domain name right so i'm going to select a different domain from this list so this is one of my domain name wordpress one dot site this is the main domain so in order to create a child domain or I can call it as a subdomain here we have to enter the username so let's say baby then domain name is already selected once I click on outside area you can see document root baby dot wordpress one dot site so this will be the complete subdomain of this main domain name at last we have to click on create so this baby domain will be created it's done you can see baby dot wordpress one dot site has been created Let's go ahead and we can open this subdomain into a new tab. Here we go. So there is no website on this domain name. That's why it shows 404 error page not found. Now let's go ahead and we can install WordPress on this subdomain. So we need to go back. And here is the grid icon to go back onto the cPanel dashboard screen. Now we have the WordPress installation uh, applications over here. So I'm just going to use this software class apps installer. Now the process is same that you follow when you install WordPress on the main domain name. I'm just going to select install. And from this drop down, we have to select the same subdomain. So I have selected over here baby.wordpress1.site. I have just created this subdomain. That's why the HTTPS will not work for it but we need to wait for a couple of minutes a couple of hours in order to get this domain name working with the HTTPS protocol so right now I'm just going to select HTTP and then we can go ahead fill up this entire form so let's fill up over here I hope you are familiar with this WordPress installation process All right, so the WordPress has successfully been installed. Now let's go ahead and we can open the same website into a new tab. Here we go. So now WordPress has been installed. You can start building the website on this subdomain. As you can see at the very top, baby.wordpress1.site. Okay, 
so you can build the website over here once the website is ready you can share this url with your client to check how exactly the work has been done if he approved the work then you can start migrating the website or what does this migrating means migrating means that you can shift the entire website onto a new domain and that new domain will be the client's original domain name so if you don't know how to migrate a website from one domain to another domain just go on to my youtube channel that is youtube.com forward slash saddam qasim and here i have created a separate video on how you can migrate a website so let's go on to the videos tab okay now we can scroll down and this is the video website migration so migration means that you can shift a website from one domain name to another domain this is the uh, video just go ahead check this video and i have also provided the link of this video in the video description below so you can go ahead and find out that video it is really very very helpful so once you migrate the website to the original domain that is the final delivery you have done and that's all you have to do I hope this video was helpful if you think it can resolve your problem then please like this video subscribe my channel and leave your positive comment and if you have any questions just drop in the comment section thank you very much